Good morning, good morning, Marmalade here. I decided to put this video together. It's early in December. It's, I call it a hiking and backpacking gift guide. And uh, yes, uh, we're about to get to Christmas, so I thought it'd be a great idea to give you some ideas. I put together 10 ideas for gifts for that hiker and backpacker in your life. Uh, these are things that I either have used or do currently use, so I have most of them with me right here. And as an added bonus, I have two extras at the end. Now, I don't really advertise a lot, but I am an Amazon affiliate, which means uh, I'm going to provide links in the description box below at the end of this video uh, for all these products. Um, I've always put all of my products, even car camping stuff and SUV living stuff, in my videos at the bottom. I don't know if, I don't know if you've ever looked there, but they'll always be there. I'll even put the whole list below these uh, gift idea links. But um, I thought I'd share with you and how, how Amazon affiliate works. If you're not sure, it doesn't cost you an extra cent. Basically, if you want to purchase one of these things for yourself or a loved one, uh, you just go down to the description box, click on the link, it'll take you to Amazon, you pay for it. It's the same price whether you use my link or not, but I get a little kickback from it. It helps support my channel and my hiking. So um, it's something that I'll bring up once in a while, but I don't really promote a lot, but I thought I'd let you know about it. This is a great time of year. And if you watch this after Christmas, this is a great idea for a... Uh, for a birthday or just a gift. Maybe somebody, somebody did something nice for you and you want to thank them. So keep this in mind if you're not watching this around Christmas. But um, let's get on with number one. All right, I am going to have to read some of the information off of these and the names, but number one is easily the best headlamp I've ever had, which is the Nightcore NU25. I've had, uh, I have two of them now, but I've had one version or the other, the same ones, uh, for about three years and swear by it. So there it is right there. Now, I will say on all the pricing that I'm going to give you, who knows if you watch this four years from now, the pricing could be different, so don't hold me to it. Uh, when I looked this up in early December, they're having Cyber Week sales and stuff, so some of the prices I have uh, may be lower. If you look at this a year later, it could be a little higher, so remember that uh, when you get onto um, Amazon. But this one is $36.95, and I have the Ultralight. Uh, I kind of go as hardcore as I can with the Ultralight, but they, it comes with a wider band, and even with the wider band, it's only 1.9 ounces. Uh, it's got a white light, different variations of white light, red light, which you need at nighttime. Um, one of the things that I like, it's very water resistant, but the thing, one of the things I like the most about it is if you're ever night hiking or get an emergency situation where you have to hike to somewhere or out of, out of there at nighttime, uh, obviously this is your lamp, but it also is one of the few um, rechargeable headlamps that you can actually, actually works while you're charging it. So let's just say you're in some kind of weird emergency situation or you're hiking the desert at night when it's cool and you wanna hike all night, you can plug your exterior battery and the cord into this and maybe put it in your pocket somewhere and it'll still work. So I think that's a huge bonus. But yeah, you gotta check this out. 1.9 ounces and like I said, 36.95. All right, number two is something I use every single day, all day when I'm on trail. I've had this particular one since 2019, since I started my through hike attempt and I've used it probably, I was trying to do the math, probably at least 10,000 times, still hasn't broken. And it's what I used to film and it's the Pedco Ultrapod. This is the original one. Um, it weighs, let's see if it has the weight here, uh, four ounces, but you can see it's a tripod like that. Um, it bends, it articulates. If you're on a side slope on the side of a trail and you want it to be level, you can bend this like this if you want. Um, what I like too is it has, I don't use it enough, but there's a Velcro strap here. And that's where if you wanted to hang it on a, a sign or a post or a tree branch, I've had it where I've actually put the camera upright but upside down and hung it from a tree branch here and walked underneath it to create a cool view. So that's what I use. It can be good even if you're not a hiker, if you're just a traveler, you know, and you're going to Italy and you want to film things or you standing by a fountain or a... Uh, uh, some kind of architecture, things like that. So you can set up the, the tripod and walk in front of the camera. So uh, I use it for other things besides uh, backpacking, but this is really, really great. The new one, um, it's like I said, I've had this for about four years. It's called the Ultrapod 3 for travel or vlogging. Uh, it's $20.73 right now when I looked. And it's uh, seven inches long by two inches and two inches. I like it as it folds up uh, very small. And um, I may buy buy one myself just to have a backup in case this ever does break. But so far, man, I mean, it's going strong. Also, I failed to, I just realized, I failed to show this top part that holds the phone is separate. I've tried all the stretchy ones, and they've all fallen or broken or let go of the phone. I've cracked my screen because they've let go of it. So now I have one that you can clamp down. I'm going to put the link 
and the price of this in case you want to get the combo. But um, it's got a, a thread. Let me see if I can show you. It's got a thread on top and everything's universal. So any kind of holder of a cell phone, things like that, you can put your uh, DSLR and things like that directly on here if that's what you have. I use this and then connect my uh, iPhone on there. So it's pretty light, but yeah, um, you can get both these together or one or the other. So I'll let you know this one, uh, like I said, since I bought this one, it's worked great. It's never let go of my phone. My third one is the Seeker 2 liter collapsible water container and it's by Hydropack. Here it is right here. This is a new one I had, the three liter, but I realized I don't need that much since I'm not going through the long water carries in the desert. So now I use this for my everyday backpacking. Um, really great. Um, it comes in gray or green. I, I prefer to green, even my tent's green. But it comes with a lid. I actually put this on here, this cap, but I actually, when I'm backpacking, I take this off. And the next item I show you in a minute is why I take this off. But it saves a little weight. I don't have to keep taking this on and off and I leave this at home. So there's that, but you have that in case you want to just carry some water or you're at camp and you want to fill up and leave it there for the morning, things like that. Um, but this is, let me look at my stats here. Uh, it is $24 on Amazon right now. This is called Sutro Green and it's 2.7 ounces, so very light. So with that said, let's go to number four really quick. It's what goes with this, which is my Be Free Filter by Katadin. I've used this since 2019 and uh, eight days into my through hike, uh, my, my Sawyer filter clogged up. I went to the Be Free and I've never looked back. I love it. So let me find that. It, um, it's really just pretty amazing. Uh, and the reason why I have this bag is because this filter fits on there. So you can see it goes right on there like that. Uh, what are the specs on this? This is $26.50 for this filter here. Um, you can buy this with other smaller bags too. I have one that comes, this came with a one liter bag that I didn't bring because I'm not, uh, it's not part of this uh, gift uh, guide. But yeah, this is, what does that say? It's uh, $26.50 and it weighs two ounces. So two ounces. So this is great together, separate, you know, maybe uh, you have other bags, but you need this bag because the diameter of this fits on here. Uh, sort of filters, you have those fit on different size bags, but that's why I have both of these. So this is a great combo really help and this is great to have even if you're not a backpacker day hiker i think it's super super smart no matter where you live to carry one of these at all times i generally throw this or my one liter bag with this in my backpack even if i carry all the water i need you never know you could get hurt and be stuck out there or lost things like that so you want to have the ability to filter extra water if you come across it so that's what i usually do even on my day packs but this is primarily my backpacking kit so yeah that's um, the filter in the bag together so number five and six, uh, I don't have with me. I'm kind of bummed because I'm in the middle. I keep all my backpacking gear in my storage unit and I'm in the middle of minimizing, getting rid of a lot of stuff and reorganizing. And for the life of me, I couldn't find the next two items, but I will show pictures um, of them or even uh, one of them I have a picture with me using it. But um, number five is pretty standard. You probably, everybody's seen it, is the Tokes Titanium Long Handled Spoon with the polish bowl. And the polish bowl, which is the part where your mouth hits, is important. If you get the, the rough, it's kind of grady on your teeth and your mouth. So get the polish bowl. And of course, long handled spoons are for when you have the tall bags of the deep, deep bags with the um, dehydrated meals, things like that. So um, yeah, so on Amazon, they're 1095 and it weighs 0.7 ounces. So not even an ounce. So great ultralight uh, gift. Could be a stocking stuffer if you're giving them more things like that but uh yeah i'll have the link below so check that out that's number five all right and number six is sun tactics ultra light hiking solar charger panel for phones or batteries so i used this in 2019 uh, up in washington and i picked the wrong place to use it i didn't use it in the desert I tried to use it in washington but it had too much tree coverage and clouds so i didn't get much from it um, but I'm considering, I haven't used it the last two years on the PCT doing my uh, long ass section hikes, the lashes. But I think about, I'm thinking about bringing it, even though it's, I've, I don't see what it weighs here. Um, it weighs 7.5 ounces. You can attach it on top of your pack, of course, and uh, run the cord to, uh, I suggest only charging the, your exterior batteries, not your phone directly. But you can put the battery in your stretchy pouch in the back and just put it on top of your pack and just hike. And it's a very slow trickle of charge. But uh, when I did use it, it really it worked well on the sunny days. And just like I said, it might top off your battery maybe 20, 30% every day. 
that's enough to get you through, especially for somebody like me that vlogs and then uses uh, apps to uh, for GPS and so, so I know where I'm going, things like that. So, um, yeah, I, I really like this thing, and I periodically use it, especially I live in San Diego near the desert where it's mostly exposed, open desert, so it's a perfect place for a solar panel. So this is, for me, one of the best ones made uh, that's light. It's actually got a laminate across it, too, so, like, I've used it in the rain. Well, I mean, it's been on my pack, and it was sunny, and then it started raining, and I just leave it up there because it's laminated. It doesn't hurt it. And, uh, yeah, so that is that is number six. All right, number seven, you can see right now, and you probably don't know you can, but this is Casio G-Shock Men's Solar Watch in resin in black. That's what I'm wearing. It's $81.92 on Amazon right now. And I bought this thing about two years ago. My other one, uh, actually, I actually lost it. So, But anyway, so I got a new one, but I like this solar. I don't have to deal with batteries. Uh, it runs great. You know, you pick your, your time zone, things like that, but it tells me when I'm looking at it, the day of the week, the date, the time, the seconds. It's got a nice blue light at night, like if I'm in my tenant in the dark and maybe it's getting ready time to get up. It's still dark. I can look here and see, things like that. Um, so, yeah, um, like I said, what did I say? 81.92 and super light. I don't have the weight. I'll put it here somewhere. But I've really, really enjoyed it. I wear it every single day. This thing hasn't come off my wrist in two years. I mean, except for maybe, you know, to shower or something like that. But for the most part, it's been great. It takes the beating. And uh, not a super expensive watch, but it does everything you want on the trail. All right, number eight is something I use almost every day, is the Nightcore NB 10,000 milliamp battery. This is what we use on trail to recharge our devices. Uh, this is what I bring. I just did a three-day around Thanksgiving, three-day hike on the PCT, and this got me through the weekend. Uh, I do vlog a lot, use my phone a lot. I do put it on airplane mode to save battery and turn my brightness down on my phone, but. I do uh, save energy that way or battery on my phone, but this will get you through a good weekend hike. It weighs, let's see what it weighs here, uh, 5.29 ounces. It's covered in graphite, so which makes it lighter, and it's not super cheap. It's $59.95. Um, there's other brands like Anchor, but they're much heavier and larger. So yeah, I've really, really enjoyed this one. All right, number nine, I actually realized I didn't bring, but it's in this family. It's a Nightcore NB 20,000 milliamps, so it's this battery. You can picture this is about a little smaller than a cell phone, but it's about twice as thick and just a fraction longer, but very small and light compared to some of the competitors. And um, that's what I bring on the PCT. Sometimes I bring two batteries if I really think I have a lot of carries, but the 20,000 milliamp will get me a good four, five, six days on trail as much as I, um, as I vlog and have to recharge. And uh, let's look at the stats here. It says it's um, 99.95 for this and 11.5 uh, ounces. When I had this competitor that was the same milliamps, it was well over a pound, like 18 ounces. This one's 11.5 ounces. So you pay extra for the materials, the graphite, and the technology, but it's much smaller and lighter, so you, you gain in that area. All right, my tenth one is a twofer. It is the SanDisk 32 gigabyte Clip Sport Plus MP3 player. So here it is here, very small, light, has a really easy to use big clip there. Um, it's rechargeable, of course. And what goes with it is the, I don't know how to say this, Aventry Sports Earbuds Sweatproof Wraparound Earphones. And there's a couple things I did on purpose, okay? I don't know if I have weird shaped ears, but like with the, the corded um, Apple earbuds, they're always falling on my ear, they drive me nuts. Especially if I felt, I felt like if I'm hiking on trail and bouncing and doing and bending over and doing all the things you're doing, getting water, that I needed uh, earbuds that wrap around my ear. So that's what I've done. You can see this, it goes around your ear like this. And they're sports ones, so you could even use them at home in the gym or whatever. But it goes like this. And um, so I have both of them here. I like the corded because I don't have to charge anything. Um, it just plugs in. I usually put this kind of on my waist belt. The Aventry, let's go over this. So the SanDisk player, this is $44.99 I bought on Amazon. And then the Aventry sports earbuds are $15.99. So a great combination to go together. Um, I've really enjoyed them. I, I purposely don't listen to a lot of music on trail, but it, I found that it's just a, it's a psychological thing, but on big climbs and tough days when I'm hot or things like that, I play music. It takes my mind off the pain and the struggle, and I seem to fly right through it before I know it. I'm through tough areas. So the music's also nice around camp, especially when I'm by myself. I don't want to blast music, of course, and, and bother anybody else if I'm with people. 
if it could be my tent at night, I can listen to a music when I fall asleep. So I think that's really great to have. I also use it just on day hikes and things at home. So um, really good gift idea. You can get one or both of these. All right, so that's the top 10 gift ideas. And as I promised, I have two bonus ideas I want to give to you, things that I use currently. Uh, the first one is, this is really interesting. I am delving into cold soaking. I'm saving the weight uh, over 13 ounces of my stove. And I did this last week and I really liked the recipes I picked. I'm gonna delve into more. I'm actually gonna make some uh, videos on the recipes if you're interested in saving weight and having cold soaking and less stuff to do around camp. But the first one is called, I'm gonna read this because I can't say it. Uberlieben Dursten Kanu Handcrafted Traditional Nordic Wooden Spoon. Right there, baby. This is beautiful. I'll try to give you a close-up picture in here somewhere of it. Uh, you can see compared to my hand, my cold soil jar is a Talenti jar. It's only about this round and about this tall. So this is perfect in there, like this. And um, and it also has a big big bowl, which I really like. Uh, some, some spoons have small bowls, and it just seems like it takes you forever to eat, and your food's cold before you know it. Um, so yeah, it's, a tr it's called the Traditional Nordic Wooden Spoon. It's $14 on Amazon. Super light, though, uh, 0.81 ounces, so under one ounce. So uh, with the cold soaking, my jar is 1.9 ounces. This is under an ounce, so under two ounces, I have my whole cook kit. So that's why I'm interested in trying it. And as I said, six inches long. And uh, so if you're interested in cold soaking, or you are currently, but maybe you have a long spoon, which is not, not necessary, I really like this. It also comes with like a little leather lanyard, and it comes with a little, um, a little clip here. Um, but I'm gonna probably take the clip off, maybe even the leather part. So, but anyway, yeah, you could hook that on the back of your backpack if you wanted, so that is one. Okay, the second of the bonus ideas is a coal beanie. You've probably seen this in videos. I'll try to show a clip here somewhere. Uh, this is my coal beanie, it's really well made. A couple things, I've tried a lot of beans. It sounds silly and you know, we're all different with all our clothes, but what I like is super soft, super warm. It's got the fold up, of course, so it keeps your ears really warm. I pulled it all down over me and, and taken this down if I have to. Um, it's $28 on Amazon. There's a bunch of colors, so you don't have to get black. I find backpacking black just hides the dirt better, and I just throw it in the washer once in a while. Um, but one of the things I really like about it, it's very soft, but I don't want a tight beanie. When I started the PCT, I had a really expensive, beautiful wool one, but it was super tight. And you know, I wear a hat all day, and I kind of want to give my head a break at night sleeping. So this is very soft, very stretchy, just super soft, and I really liked it warm. So give it a, uh, give it a try. Uh, some people don't like logos. I like the logo and very clean and simple. All right, guys, that about does it. I hope you appreciate those ideas and let me know what you think. Um, like I said, if you want to get one of these, uh, all of these will be at the very top of the description box. When you click on the description box, they're at the top. I'm going to put my whole extra list down below in case there's something else you see in there that you might want um, that's not on this list, but it really helps out the channel. I make like a little percentage off of every sale, but like I said, you don't pay anything extra. And it gives you an idea for that hiker that you're, you're having a tough time, uh, or maybe they have just about everything. So hopefully I gave you some good ideas. I appreciate it. Uh, please think about subscribing, liking, and hitting the notification bell so you can be notified every time I post a new video. And guess what? It's totally free. So help out my channel if you can. And that's about it. Happy holidays, or whenever you see this. And we'll see you on the next one.